I like her. Uh, we have seen Najin actually successfully execute fast push with Tristana before. So this is definitely a champion that Najin's going to feel very comfortable running. Luke Lord. is real low. He has blue buff, but he's going to have to back off. We have two blue buffs. Watch takes a lot of damage. Chase Adding. coming in. Ignite goes down onto Watch. Looks like he is going to be able to... No! Oh, GBM with the snipe from the side. Wow. Well, that was... Uh, Definitely exciting. I mean, Jin Air, just due to the path, they great jungling from Chaser so far this game. Watch is going to come in. There's the smite, but he gets unburrowed. There's the stun. How far are they going to go for this? I don't know if they're going to go further. They can't get the kill. Oh, yes, they can. Auto Jay. attack range. Not enough for Chain. Now we're going to see some burning coming through. Pure gets really cute. OQ Rocket jumps in. Needs a couple of autos to get the reset, and the Rocket Jump gets it, and he's not done. I don't know about that. GBM is there. So is Victor. Goom going to flash over. Trace follows the jump with the flash. He's got red buff right now. Goom has no mana. And GBM has the blue. This is something we didn't get to talk about. It helps his early laning phase. The only real weakness for Varus. Doesn't even need to. He's going to have some harder time sustaining right now. Now there's going to be a tower dive right here as Chaser lurks towards Duke. And that is just going to be an unburrow. Easy, easy, easy kill. Not afraid of watch on the other side. Trace just going to start with a flame spinner. However, Goog on the rope gets the Q down. Chaos Storm is going to finish Trace off eventually. Hate Spike, actually, for the finisher. Chaser still running, going to unburrow. But that's a kill for Goog with the Death Ray. So good turnaround on Goog. On his tail, no flash quite yet. Duke going to go for this, actually. There's the opener. Equalizer goes down, but Trace is just going to get caught and die. Duke picks up the kill. You just can't escape once that Agony's Embrace comes in, and the series of Rune Prisoning was just unable to engage on Jin Air. In their last match, Watch just gets caught and destroyed. GBM with the quick kill, but a turnaround here. Heal will save him. They're going to use the Chilling Spite to get onto Goog right there, but I don't think they have the follow up, or do they? It is close. GBM. Not going to get the kill with the piercing arrow, and Goong going to be maybe getting a scuttle grab. Gets chunked a little bit. Death Ray going to come through, but there's the turnaround. Another Timbers, and the chain stun is too much. Watch going to find himself in the chains of corruption as well, and he's going to have to get out of there. That surely will be a dragon. It's a late first dragon, but now they've got a kill and chunked out the jungle. It seems like it'll be safe. They push the outer turret and bottom as well. Watch isn't done. Chaser catches him and gets that kill he's been wow. waiting for. Wow, I'm very surprised Chaser was actually able to finish that off. Watch moving too far into the jungle and then getting crumbled. There could be a lot of trading. Speaking of trading, Trace taking a lot of damage. Can he get away? Doesn't have the equalizer. This is what Ryze can do. Another rune prison comes through. He's not dead yet, though. They're trading under the turret. Duke will die to the turret. Oh, shot. my. Wow. What a turnaround from Trace. This is a 2 Equalizer's back up. And yeah, they're going to catch out Evelyn with the damage as well. Chase is on to Duke. Duke's melting in the front line, but so is Chaser. He's going to open up a little bit of distance with Annie roaming through. That's another easy pick. And Jin Air, their map rotations are just that much better than Nargent's. And the finally, OQ picks up a wave of his own and push out. Goong's taking a lot of damage. Chilling Smite onto him. The snipe doesn't hit him, though. So does the Chains of Corruption miss. And OQ might be able to turn this around. And they will. OQ is there, already joined up with the team Duke. TP's in to see if he can punish GBM, but that's not going to pan out. It's from the mid lane. Oh, Rice is coming through. Here we go. Depth charge on a GBM, and he will get bursted down. Finds himself in a choke all alone. Great gank there, or pick there, rather, by Najin the Empire. They get the 5v1, and GBM punished for moving too far. Poke Najin off is going to be the question. They don't have a lot of time. Looks like that'll be a dragon in exchange, but how hard do they want to go? There's the Tibbers going down. Equalizer, Ooh. huge on to Pure. Pure dies instantaneously. Watch will pay the price as well as Trace gets a double, so... A fantastic trade for Jin Air. They can take a Baron. Right the now. secure available as well. They have a lot of damage from the Leandre as well. Duke's poking around, but very low. Uh, Goog is here. OQ is here. Both full health. Uh, Duke wants to go back and actually engage this with a teleport. He's going to be late, though. He's going to be late. And can he get the kill? Rek'Sai is dead. They lost their spite, actually. Oh, boy. OQ coming in with the resets. Finds the 1v1 versus Captain Jack. There's the flash. And Duke comes over the side. Can he get another W? Yes, he can. GBM. Ooh, going to come out. Here's a TP turnaround, though. Trace wants back in on this one. 
home guard there. OQ, he's not going to go in. He instead turns tail. It's a gold lead, but suddenly a much finer poised game between Jin Air and Najin in the battle for second. Yeah, they're moving forward right now. They still oh want. Oh, boy. And there's Watch. He gets the flanks. GBM has his flashback up, but Captain Jack has to cleanse. It's not going to be enough. Pure will pay for it with his life one for one. But the damage still there for Najin. They want to pursue. The crowd control is down. How well can Jin Air kite this out? They want the poke, and they're just going to disengage with the hail of arrows. Ooh, poke missing. So favorable trade for Najin. And the more they can trade at this point in the game, the better. To be fair, there isn't that much armor yet. There's the engage. They find Goog on the side. Equalize. Oh, my lord. Just getting destroyed. Jack going to save Che with his ultimate. They're still switching focus. Another member of Najin falls. The rest of Najin has to run. They're on the retreat. OQ uses the rocket jump to get away. He's got the, he's got the buster shot, but he's not going to need it. Pure. You're not getting out of there, buddy. And that's going to be the Baron. Finally, for Jin Air with three members of Najin down. What a good engage from Jin Air. And Trace is playing out of his mind with these equalizers. Went for the early Leandros, which requires you to nail that difficult to hit spell. Requires the enemy team to sit on it. And Goon had no way to get out. Got the instant kill onto Victor. Still had the flash available. It's going to be a free Baron for Jin Air. And they just need to look to their top laner to see why they're winning these fights. Yeah, and Goon. He see a team fight that Najin wins. Yeah, it's not a great situation, but they're putting up a decent defense here. And there you go, Pure gets caught, and that's it. Che with the decisive Tibbers. And there's an equalizer, they're gonna follow this up. Chaser wants the secondary engage. Goog gets hit by a flash on Burrow, but it looks like oh. he might live. But the big, big damage on an armorless Duke is going to be his doom. GBM. Ch channeling up that Q for the flash kill onto the back line. They're going to easily take out this inhibitor turret. They're happy to tank it up. And Jin Air, so close to what is an important victory in this battle for second. Yeah, moving from tower to tower right now. And Jin Air, you know what? They just look, their, their last victory against CJ was pretty dominant. And we had questions, was this CJ slumping or was this Jin Air just playing super well? But Man, this just looks like Jin Air playing super well again. Yeah, what an emphatic answer they're giving to that particular. That's better from them. They have been a little bit lackadaisical in terms of warding those flanks. There's the big engage, but flashed away by Captain Jack. Watch from the side, though. Re-engages. This is a very close fight. The equalizer splitting up oh the threads. My. And he gets onto the back line, and it's looking good for Jin Air. Well, Duke was just absolutely dominated by Trace on the side. Thanks to the Zonia's Hourglass, Goon going to fall to GBM Snipe. And that'll be it. Watch Trace the there played that, placed that equalizer so well, Duke couldn't walk over it. Then he Zonia during his Flame Spitter to keep doing damage. Duke had a choice, get hit by Flame Spitter or walk on the equalizer. That was it. It's a lose-lose choice, and that's all Najin is left with. Watch is chased away. Remember, they got the big engage with Watch. He finally found the flank he wanted, but it wasn't enough. And Jin Air Greenwings. Hold your head high. What a big performance in game one against Najin. And Najin really has to come out better with some more dominant lane play because OQ fell behind early as a result of all the action on the map that was mostly taking place in his lane. And Duke playing that rise just couldn't get into a point where he was actually a big threat in these team fights while Trace just dominated control of the map. You can finally see why he really tunnels on this Rumble pick. He's played the most of it. Doesn't have the same win rate as the Maokai 5-0, but basically dictated every team fight. And Najin opted into team fights without an Aegis with very low amounts of magic resist and got burned away. And Jin Air too. I think they really identified where the problems were, where the weak points were. They went after Watch mercilessly with Chaser throughout that entire game. And I don't know if you can give Jin Air this Rek'Sai again because of the way that Chaser plays around Watch.